and we should be live. Hello and welcome to this live stream slash podcast. I am Juno and with me is the man behind stardomfan.com and a podcast we all know and love. Oh, you give me too much credit. I am Mark. One would say a starter mark or the starter mark, but you know, we're all starter marks in the long run. Today we are going to talk stardom. Suzuki san wa kawaii kakoi desu. Yeah, that means Suzuki's pretty cool. So we had the Cinderella tournament, was on a- uh, the finals was on April 29th. Uh, they had 2017. That's got to be the most since what man it's worth going back and seeing um what they had for their big show in december but with uh they're in the big arena but with covid protocols this might be the biggest um audience in quite some time yeah all right let's rock um telling me there was a stardom tournament (laughs) yeah you know what um i wanted to hit on some notables in the show the well they had a pre-match i think but the main match number one was uh, the sisters Hanan went against uh, Rena there, and that was that was fine. Those two young ones are fantastic. With Hanan gonna be a future ace, oh, pretty much already is. <laughs> I know, right? She's we say it at watching the show. It's like it's unfair that she's that good <laughs> at that young. Mayu, watch out! Oh my god! I uh, here's oh when they did their stardom draft, which. We did a startup draft a few years ago where, like, Oedo Tai, some base, they somehow managed to, like, convince Rossi that a draft was a good idea, and they somehow drafted, like, because they were the smallest group, and by the end of it, they ended up with all their members plus, like, two. I'm like, that's an Oedo Tai thing. <laughs> and uh, I think Hanan was, like, the first pick from Mayu, and she's, like, the future of stardom. Oh, that's cool. Hanan. She was, like, 13. <laughs> oh, that's nuts, ain't it? I know, it's like, with four years' experience. <laughs> I know, more experience than Utami, probably. All right. Um, after that, we go into a very, well, <laughs> and every match Koguma was it was scary. A very scary uh, semifinal match. Koguma on, versus Hazuki on the left side of our bracket. And Hazuki just couldn't pull it off. Koguma with a big old roll-up, a little jackknife roll-up action going on. And... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Suzuki's pretty cool, and she couldn't get to the finals. We have uh, Mariah and Natsupoi. We had a... Oh, I don't want to overlook. If you guys haven't watched... or I don't know. If you haven't watched or watched the uh, Stardom tournament, they in between they were setting up, they did a gauntlet match. There was just three. It was like three on three, and then like you lose, someone else comes in, you know. Mayu hit, like, this insane moonsault onto Lady C. Damn right. Well, it had the icon and it had the goddess Lady C in there, so of course it was cool. This is this is huge. Cosmic Angels in that gauntlet match, not only, they got their first win of the year, and they are breaking down in tears, crying, celebrating, <laughs> throwing babies. And it would be more, like, wow, they're crying, they're so excited. But I'm like, I think they cry all the time. Yeah, they rarely stop crying. Uh, and they, they were yeah, st- they got their first win against, like, literally half the roster, so that's a big win. And then uh, out comes these people from Colors, these girls from Colors, and now they're setting up a match four on four, I believe, where if they beat these Colors girls, they uh, join Cosmic Angel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another... Uh faction from another place coming in to try to cause a little ruckus yeah they well it's funny it was it was funny the angels not only they ended up winning that match but they you're right they acted like they won all their championships back and basically they're the <laughs> last team to come out during a gauntlet match so they could just sort of pick the bones and <laughs> whatever a win's a win right that's why they that's why they have those matches you ever see that meme with like a cartoon where the guy's celebrating, like he pulls a girl on stage, he kisses her, and he's spraying champagne everywhere, and he looks like, it, and then he scrolls down, and he won bronze. <laughs> hey, that's all right. You got to be happy to be there, right? One to hit on Himika came out with a brand new outfit, and it's and it's looking good. She just looks really good. 
Yeah, she's that was gonna, cool. She can be the next world champion, I think. And because she ended up yeah. having that match, and it was pretty damn good. Yeah. Um, going to the 5-1 show, if you just get catch skipping through, watch Starlight and Hina at the end. It's her with the greatest... I just said Mayu. Well, I said Mayu had a good moonsault. Starlight had the greatest moonsault. You know, but she boy she pins her, looks into the camera, she poses like, oh, she's so good. It's also surprise. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised because the next match, Julia makes Hanan tap out, and like after only like ten minutes, and it was a ten person tag. Those usually go like twenty five. So she loves beating up children. <laughs> what kind of place was that? That place in five one was fantastic. They're they're definitely in a basement somewhere. I love it. Look at that starlight. Starlight is so cool. She did a move. She did. She did a video game move where she just jumps up and kicks Hina in the face like it's, she's a video game character. Yeah, that was new. It was like a jumping sidekick. At <laughs> definitely both popped for that. We're like, I can't believe that just happened. She's got like the AJ syndrome where that she must have practiced or just got so good where you just look so cool flying through the air doing your move. <laughs> Oh my god, I love that they do a move to the Angels where Mina and Unagi get on the apron and then Tam jumps off their hands like a cheerleading move. She just it's it's the greatest move in wrestling. Just tumbles like a sack of rocks. Did you tell me like a couple times like when they first started doing it, they tried making her jump from inside of the ring? Yeah, I'll like, have go to, ahead first. I'll have to find the show. It was it was sometime this year because it was Oh my god, it was astonishing. They, well, I think they might have closed the show because Tam took the mic afterwards and she even called it a botch, which I thought was, they usually don't do stuff like that. But yeah, they uh, the girls tried to do the throw. She tried to jump off. She either got, they just didn't get enough on it. And yeah, it was from the inside of the ring. So she goes ass over tea kettle, folds over the top rope, tumbles down. <laughs> Everyone on the outside is trying to save her life. It was It was disgusting. <laughs> we'll find we'll either make a gif i'll find it we'll make a gif of it or that might be something just putting on one of your video shorts or something because that it was pretty funny um i guess i'll run through the last so you have something else to say i was gonna move on to running through our last power ranking that we did yeah that's fine um did you want just because the pay-per-view was good and i know we were excited and hopping everywhere did you like anything about the azumi match with that uh <laughs> uh, my Saruga. My Saruga. Um, -na 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 -na. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Azumi. I can't. I don't know. I just. I don't know. Um. Be I, I don't know why everyone like. If you said why do you not like Azumi, and I'm like I don't know, and that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes comes across as ordinary. I'm. I'm hot and cold with her. I'm actually going back up into sort of the. the I'm. I'm liking her more the past couple months. <laughs> Uh, V4 says, speak of Azumi, and the Azumi fan will appear. Ah, uh, there's a boy. <laughs> hey, congrats on your live stream earlier. I'm, talk for glory, everyone. Search it up. Uh, yeah, I liked, um, I liked her when she was wrestling in Sirius, that, uh, my Saruga? Is that how we're gonna say it? But she is just too over the top for me. My goodness. <laughs> oh, we're gonna say it. We're gonna say it. My Saruga. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Yeah. Zoomy holds. Oh, they had a little backstage thing that's worth. Uh, oh, there, now she she won a match. So I I want to say that I, I couldn't really. I didn't really know what the deal was. Now zoomy has got to go wrestle in Choco Pro Wrestling or something like that. She beat her. Oh, really? It's kind of, it's kind of like a thing where Azumi, if I beat you, you got to come wrestle in my company. And Azumi says, "Okay, if I when I beat you, I guess I'll still wrestle in your company because it'll make you feel better." Yeah, we'll get eyes on whatever promotion that is. Uh, real quick, we'll uh, plow through before, because it might yeah, matter so... to the power rankings. Uh, Natsupoi and Koguma in the finals, and this was terrifying. I thought our our the worst was going to come true. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out, you know, God's Eye gets the big push. And you know what? Uh, Mirai, Mirai's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, she, I like. Yeah, I like, I like her. Mariah. She has, a, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what else to say. Like, she, she hits the ropes really hard. Her clothesline's cool. She actually kicked out of uh, Koguma's big tight roll up thing where she just like I don't know falls asleep and lays her back and all her weight on her. And I thought that was <laughs> over, but Mariah kicks out and that was fantastic. 
Oh, and then don't gloss Do over. You? We have a new Cinderella chant or Cinderella girl. But then Shuri uh, is challenged by Himika, and that match goes 21 minutes, and it was pretty fucking cool. Like Himika really did good in a main event spot. That's for damn sure. I actually like Mariah. Like, uh, she comes out and she, you, I don't know, she's like this big girl and she like throws her weight around. And she thinks she's like a badass like fighter. I mean, she kind of has to. She's in, I'd die. But then yeah. she comes out and they're like her tiara and the dress. And she's just like, I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't believe I won. Yeah, like, that was good. She did. She did good. It was pretty funny watching when they have the um someone that's uh, supposed to be a, a bit of a badass uh with all her soul um win uh, a match that's going to pop her in a dress and then she's going to say a speech from the heart which isn't <laughs> I'm going to knock people around <laughs> it was it was good though yeah she goes this is I think this is my first <laughs> uh, in and start on my first achievement I'm like that's great yeah she had the main event right off the bat in January and then it was like well it, uh, <laughs> it a moment where she was holding the Cinderella trophy backwards it was like in English, the words were backwards, and she's like, oh. Whoops, that was cute. <laughs> I like this question. Have you ever worn a dress? I w- have you ever worn the dress? I wore it for the first time. How is it comfortable to wear? How about it? Does it look good? I don't know what you think when you ask everyone if it looks good, but on the contrary, being able to wear a dress that means you won the Cinderella, I want to be a person who looks good on the top. Damn right. And then hope- going for the uh, white belt. Yeah, she says, I could challenge for the red belt, but let's put that in the back burner for now. Oh, I'll say something funny. Uh, I've, uh, their pre-Cinderella press conference, um, Natsu Boy goes, all right, now that you're not DDM anymore, something that's been really bothering me, okay? My name. It's not Natsu Boy. It's Natsu Boy, okay? Natsu Boy. Not Natsu Boy. <laughs> Mariah was, like, really embarrassed and flustered. Like, she couldn't finish the rest of her press conference. Like, damn. So, in our last power ranking, um, pretty much had all the the young girls, uh, well, and the people who are injured, like, Toro. Um, we had, like, Hina, Fukigen, like, all the joke wrestlers. Kogo, she's new. Then, obviously, the future startup champion, Hanan's better than all of them. Controversially, we had Kairi, Underneath, oh, what was she at? Out of thirty, we had her at twenty-two. But that's before she ever fought a match, so I'm like, I can't place her too high. Yeah, should we put her? It almost should have been in a non-applicable role. But one, it was Kyrie, and two, she was announced. So we got to see that face on there somewhere. And quite frankly, <laughs> the poor thing hasn't been back since Starlight broke her ear. Is that what happened? Oh my god. Yeah, after the match at um, Rio Goku Giki Khan. No. Yeah, I, I tried to watch that match back. I guess it was from a knee strike or something. Mm. Um, what? She, like, busted Kyrie's eardrum, and she, like, in the post-match, she's like, I can't really hear. <laughs> and it hurts a lot. But and then she but then she said, but I'm happy because this pain is, like, it's, like, it's pro wrestling is pain, and I'm happy. <laughs> I love her. Um, I think... Looking at this now, going 21 to 13 here, there's a lot of angels kind of in the middle, and they're gonna, they're definitely dropping. I love, it's going to be even funnier when we get close to the top, because I think the person that was really high up, who had the best January I've ever, like, ever, has had <laughs> the worst past three months. Maybe your spreadsheet says something different, but man... Yeah, I know Tam's at seven. She's dropping. Beckle was at number nine. That was and she had the greatest couple of months when she debuted. <laughs> if, 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 our, if our boy Enigma doesn't watch out, the, the cosmic anchor is gonna. There's gonna be a new tier. <laughs> Lady C, <laughs> that 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 walk on the walk of tier is gonna be be a thing. I would say probably that all the startup girls are very cute, even the ones who wear masks. <laughs> Especially the one who wears a mask. <laughs> <laughs> when um momo oh before i can't find it i'll, I'll have to pull it up another time but not word for word momo when she before she was getting into the feud where she joined a tie she was had a match with starlight and she goes everyone's saying how cute starlight is and that shock, they can't imagine how pretty she'd be without the mask i'm like are you sure you're not getting your hopes up like she might be she's, <laughs> 
She's like, she's like, she's probably busted under there. That's why she wears a mask. <laughs> Yo, they were pretty brutal to each other for a little bit when they were, um, when Momo was still a good guy in Queen's Quest. Like Starlight was just oh. saying, "Well, you're fat and you're ordinary. That's why no one likes you." I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> that's pretty yes. fucked up." <laughs> yeah, and then Momo goes, "Are you sure there's not a like? She's probably a reason she's wearing a mask to cover <laughs> that busted horse face." <laughs> oh, yeah, <they're laughs> she's like, "I've seen." She's like, "I've seen it." Yeah, they they have seen, they went at each, at each other pretty hard. That's for sure. By the way, one can argue that Oedo Tai are the best baby face faction in Stardom. And then our our top uh, four here we got Shuri was number three as the world champion. We still had Utami above her because she had such a great year last year. Number one was a Stardom icon, and then by herself in the Lady C tier is our goddess of Stardom fan, Lady C. She uh yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we always root for the underdog. She has a tier of her own. It's not ironic. She will be great someday. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a perfect segue. Let's just get on to our rankings here. Lady C. Lady C. We're not we're just cutting right to the chase. She always gets her own tier. Lady C tier. A tier above the rest. Yeah, it works, everyone. Christian stole that from her. <laughs> Well, that's good, too. You put her all by herself. We don't have to argue about uh, where she um, deserves to be in the top five anyways. Yeah, that's honestly, that's the real reason she's up there. It's like we would end up like, listen, if you saw our Cinderella tournament, we legit worked ourselves into thinking that she was going to win it all. And then she ends up losing the first round. So she has to go in her own tier or else this whole thing is illegitimate. Um, And some of the easy ones. Though. By Tora. She goes 31 because she hasn't wrestled yet. But everyone, that's another thing. Um, anyone who is on their roster on their website is who I'm, is on the list. And everyone's getting ranked. So uh, number 30, because I think everyone else wrestled. I think it has to be. Ugh, I hate doing it because I love me some Waka. She tries so hard. But there are wins on the year. Even Nagi and Mina have found a win sometime this year. It's just mathematically accurate. Zero win percentage means you act. You, it's like a participation award. You're only above Tora because she didn't wrestle yet. Which actually, that makes me happy that Tora is ranked lower than Waka. <laughs> Fair enough. As long as she's not last. I mean, you got to give it to someone who tries really hard. Twenty nine. Like the I like the gimmick of you got to get through Hanan. So no, Hanan yeah, Hanan's still going to be yeah, the leader of the. I'll kids. just place her like wherever for now. <laughs> yeah, she's still the leader of the kids. <laughs> we'll move her up or down when we run out. So- Sakurai? Or maybe your sister, Ina? Yeah. Well, she's got a couple tag wins. My Sakurai's... Sakurai doesn't win a lot. She beats Waka. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> she beats on Waka, so... Well, I think Sakurai. Yeah, I I don't know. I also don't mind Rina. It's, it's a toss-up between them two. Or... Not Rina. Um, Hina. Hina's only wrestled a couple times. Hmm. Yeah, because Miu is newer, I guess, technically than Hina, but Miu, I think, is a star. And a better wrestler. <laughs> so I think that, I think Miu's definitely above Hina. I, I honestly, in the, in the small little sample we have, I, I think I agree, but Rina's still also just sort of, you know, playing to her role of a widow tie where, you know, in Queen's Quest, Hina can do more than cheat. <laughs> do you want to place them next to each other? Yeah, like right next to each other. Forever? That's fine. Yeah. And then they can argue about it over dinner. Um, <laughs> who's on top? <laughs> well, no, one's go. Yeah, one of them's on top. Actually, honestly, it, it might end up just going like this. <laughs> Get the three sisters. All right, I don't oh, like Fukigan being too too high. Yeah. I actually, there's a few things I like. I like that she's not on every show these days. And I do think it's funny when they all do the smoking little thing. That's sort of funny to me. I don't know that I like the <laughs> newspaper spot. Yeah. And Momo Kogo. <laughs> yeah, Momo Kogo needs to be up there. She is fantastic. Is she, she moved, oh, she can still fight for the future's belt. So does she have to stand her Hanan, I think? Because she is good. Yeah, so. she. Yeah, because I mean, you wouldn't quite call her in the mid tiers because she's not challenging for the white belt or anything like that. Not really doing anything with 
tag belts or anything. But she is, if Hanan wasn't there just because she's the champion, like, Momo Kogo is fantastic. I mean, her, she's unique. Her moves are great. I mean, drop kicks off of and from anywhere. She's <laughs> she, she's she's a rising star for damn sure. And Coco beat all of Oedo Tai in one night. The only other person that can say that oh, is, is Mayu. That is true. <laughs> she does have a baby. She's got a well. Sometimes she has a baby face. Sometimes she looks like she is the Momo mask. Yeah, I, my first impression of her was goop. And that's how you know she transcended because she's not the freaking supermodel. I don't think I don't want to offend anybody that like some some of these girls can come across as but her wrestling is just so fucking cool that like she's turning into one of my favorite personal favorites hmm I'm looking and right, where's Miyugo oh she's got to be really low I didn't have I was sort of looking at the old like at the old list um I didn't see what she had on the bottom of that one too so I was trying to compare and contrast as we were talking she wasn't on that a lot well she wasn't wrestling then yeah I know so she wasn't on it that's why I didn't even realize she She should almost be even below Fuki again shouldn't she I mean she hasn't done anything yet she should almost be below my Sakurai she should almost be (laughs) not below Waka because Waka (laughs) tries really hard logically she's gotta be below Hina because they they're doing their coming up this goal, I don't know. Sometime this month, they're doing a match to see the new leader of Queen's Quest is, and they said, "What about Miu? What about her?" <laughs> I mean, she's cool. I do like her. I do like her a lot. But I, I, okay, I agree. I agree. The last two of these young girls I'm looking, I think, are uh, Ami and Mirai. The question I'm having is, do they have to? I almost think it goes Mirai Kogo Ami. Mirai? Be... She's she, above that. I don't think. Like well, she, well, I'm doing, she like, hasn't had a great couple challenge. months, but just she gets bonus points for just winning the winning the um her thing. Ami. I only put. I had to put you above uh, Fuki and and just because she's Fuki and like a <laughs> joke. It's like not even. She's. Like, <laughs> it's like ya, uh, Yano. It's like he could be number two because he could beat it anybody like uh, he could roll up okada if he wanted to but he's also like yano <laughs> he's gonna do he's gonna do fukigan things right i like um but aida should i like her above the the sisters i think not all the sisters i like her under kogo i think i like that order but i like aida is number one in the in the uh, uh, number one out of the, that little tier sort of in the 23 spot and then everyone else moving down one that. No, 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 no. Well, that's actually probably more right. My heart is saying I like, I like, I like Kogo more. All right, let's switch them too. <laughs> but I still think um, Saida should be I above. Uh, <laughs> Saida could bench press all the sisters at the same time. <laughs> I could always, I could honestly, and throw I in me assumed... at eighty-five pounds. I always just assumed that Kogo was going above, like once Hanan decides that she's done playing with the Futures Belt, she just hands it to Kogo. I'm like, here you go. Yeah, there's a ch- there's going to be a time when the Futures Belt doesn't matter, but Hanan's really good, and that's where the belt deserves to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, until Kogo wins it, or one of the sisters yeah, actually, end up winning it from her. Yeah, and now we're moving to like the mid tier area. It's kind of interesting because it's not like these guys are low tier. They're just they're either well, new or they're new to the company. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that's what's fun about Stardom is that I, th- I think that most of the matches are super entertaining. Oh. I mean, there's the the tier would be the way I think about it is it's, it's not all skill, but like where are they in the in the title picture? You know, they're, these are the girls that'll go for the future or nothing, Even and then you know Waka. white belt tags in the middle, and then of course you know who has a chance of going for the red belt's got to be near the top. Even Waka, who has not gotten a single win in like a year and a half since she came to Stardom, she gets really close. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> there could be a time. She it could be on any show too. Like Lady C got her first win in a house show. <laughs> it's not like they have to save it for some big moment. Angels, I swear to God, I thought Waka was gonna break the Angels losing streak. <laughs> <laughs> I know she couldn't have even. God forbid she was even in the Gauntlet match. Oh. 
then that move, throws a wrench move into Han- our perfect rating. Yeah, but that's fine. Move Hanan up, and then we'll uh, rock a maybe. Un- I, I like Ruaka. Yeah. I've liked Ruaka the past couple months. She's above oh, Miyu, and what? she's probably right. She's right around the sisters. I I, I think Koguma's and Naida are so I... ahead of Ruaka. I think she's above the sisters. Honestly. Well, right around might is even fine. Be ab- she might even be above Sayaida. No. He does, doesn't lose yet. I just think she's lost a lot. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just jealous because she has better arms and shoulders than me. <laughs> <laughs> just for the fact that she is, well, her nickname is like the gorilla. She, she looks like a freaking gorilla. Like, she's four foot three. She's got the body frame of gorilla. Her arms, her, her, to call it your uh length her arms is insane she probably walks on her knuckles that's probably why they're so bulky didn't i say that the other day i was like i never thought i'd be the jealous of the fucking arms and traps of a fucking 85 pound girl (laughs) it's like she's the girl she is ripped that's the truth (laughs) maybe that's saying more about me but i don't know she's got some shoulders (laughs) i definitely have better uh, quads and thighs, though. I'll say that confidently. <laughs> confidently. No one does a stair stepper like this guy. All right. Uh, so see back at the bank there for. It, so no one else should be below our. I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, I'm and... just looking through who can challenge for the futures. You challenge for the futures. You're below Hanan, and I think we're good. Now this is the point where you put the uh, controversial Kyrie up, even though we know she's she should be number one, but she only wrestled one match, so we just put her on up there to put her up there. <laughs> oh, who is better, Kyrie or Konami this year? Oh yeah, I get. Well, we saw one match, and she's had a couple since. And it was super cool to see her. I mean, that's voting with my heart at that point, but. Yeah, I mean, having her... I mean, if we're calling this mid- mid-tier, I mean... Kyrie above. Uh, I mean, Kyrie. obviously. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, they they don't have much, you know, work happening right now. <laughs> so they gotta be down here. You gotta, you gotta wrestle. You gotta, it's the power rankings. You gotta show your power if you're gonna be ranked. I mean, you're, you're that high just based on, you know, how Excuse awesome me. you were. The R is... <laughs> Uh, Deska? <laughs> <laughs> Saki Deska? <laughs> Oishi. Hmm. All right. Let's get into... Uh, uh, I, we gotta, I think feel like it's time to start throwing some angels up here, because honestly... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, for going power we, rankings, like, half of them haven't won a match yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost want to place Konami above all of them. Yeah, but well, I mean, she's one and zero as of we we watched up until the five one show. So I mean, she's probably won her two or three matches since. Probably, <laughs> probably snapped off, <laughs> just snapping arms. So who do you think is the the worst angel? We can. De- you always say it's Mina, and I'm always say it's not. I think I would have agreed with you not even more than six months ago, but I think Unagi has gotten so much be- better, like, I don't know, from November on. At first she catches better your eye because from... she looks amazing, and then after that, like, because then she, all summer long, she was all about the big double leg drop and all that kind of stuff, but I, I think all her stuff's Boing. been looking great. Ever since she had that match where, was it her and Micah, or her and Hemika, that Boing. just, like, punched each other in the face all day long? That was pretty cool. Yeah, that really turned the corner for me where she's... I, I don't think... I like the Mina and Thecla feud, but she hasn't really had the, the big match that turned the corner and made me think that she's better yet than Unagi, at least. Going from Waka level to Ruaka level isn't the same as being on Mina's level. <laughs> I'll ask you this. Who gets, the, who gets all the white belt? SWA title matches. They say, hey, Unagi. Yeah, we trust you. I think right. you put on a good, good well, I show. Know, okay, well, I know you're thinking of Cosmic Angels just for the sake of having Cosmic Angels up here. However, <laughs> let me throw a wrench in there. I mean, 
if for Is it Azumi and Koguma, like, are they the bottom of the? They can't challenge for the futures anymore. I wasn't gonna say it. I like Azumi. I'm on the Azumi fan V4 is here. <laughs> Azumi fan. He's gonna run Azumi fan dot com for us. The uh, <laughs> uh, I, other than the fa- if Koguma didn't just make it to the damn finals of this Cinderella, I'd put her there right here right now. But. <laughs> So you don't get extra points for being a loser. Yeah, like but everyone she was else the lost. Best, but she was the best loser. If you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Mariah can get a bump. I don't think you you don't get a bump from losing. All right. Well, what I mean, you're you're going to be attacked by by the chat in a second. No, I no oh. no. I bet by your hating on a on a Zoomy. No, I don't. I don't. Oh. I honestly, I don't. I don't, I. I I mean, I don't know. I don't like Koguma. <laughs> just hey, she could pr- almost be the it's a pro. She should be on like Fukigen level, but she always wins. But issue I'm having. Well, that's Stop the thing. All I my mean, favorite you... wrestlers with your stupid roll up, and then <laughs> do you do a bear pose? Like, stop. Yeah, I don't like it. It's honestly, be, it's <laughs> it's honestly become a joke in Stardom where she tries to do it, and like, like Konami did it. She started doing the. Oh no, that was against Waka. That was funny. Waka goes to tag in. She's like, I want you, Konami. And then Konami just tags out. Yeah, yeah. Then... she's like, I don't want any part of this. <laughs> and then she tags in at the end to snap Waka in half. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's fine. Keep her there. And then uh, if we think it should move because something doesn't make sense, like maybe oh, she should be above Mina. Well, is this the fight between I, I, Unagi I will... and um, Mina right here? Because I'm okay with them being like, well, like right next to each other as long as Unagi's above Mina, <laughs> but you can make you can make the call. I mean, who would you rather see on top? Oh, That's the question. Uh, Unagi has. Oh, well, so, okay, here we go. Unagi has a pretty awesome frog splash, and Mina has the like Mina effect, you know, the Judas effect thing going on. But every time she hits it, she hits her so hard that she falls down. So let's get kinetic equal and opposite reaction. That's just science. Unagi is that. That's like so funny though, because Unagi is still like looks. <laughs> I can just when I watch, I'm like, oh, she obviously looks up to them because she's like learning a lot. Well, yeah, she's still very young in it. That's why she's below Mina. I think we're getting into Azumi territory, unless you know. Well, the high speeds the the next lowest tier singles belt, so that makes sense. Um. If you don't mind scrolling oh, down so sweet. I can see the pool, though. Mm. Well, don't don't disrespect the SWA belt like that. Oh, well, no, I didn't disrespect it. I I said that. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> I, oh, did, I did the opposite. I disrespected the high speed belt. <laughs> oh, well, okay, that's fine with me. Azumi's care. If it was Starlight, I'd be like, "What the fuck?" We're getting to the nitty gritty. It's now. This is where like the heart the starts. Uh, and because this does make sense where girls like Saki should be coming up. Yeah. But I like yes. her way more. But like looking at this list, I mean, we recently updated the win losses, but I don't feel like she's. This is like Nat. This is this is like Momo Saki's Natsu Boy area. Oh, uh, no, no, fuck Nat. Natsu Boy goes way up at the top. She is like the queen of the artist belt. Yeah, she's pretty cool. She wins a lot too. Yeah, I, I'm cool with Saki. Yeah, cool that's fine. Saki. Put Saki up the up. Yeah, I mean nothing set in stone. Saki can pop up there for now. I wanted to put Tam at fourteen. Putting Tam at fourteen because I was gonna say like below Saki. He's got, well, I was gonna say because angels are. Oh, it's not your walker. You're just got him with a girl there. They have they have like one okay so the angels have one win. Oh, Mina has one win. Nagi and Tam I think on the tag match, so that's why I have them there. <laughs> I was gonna out of respect to Tam, but I'm like you gotta win a match sooner or later. It's cutest in the universe, dude. Before did you listen to or listen or watch the last podcast? Judo was saying the same thing. I, I just popped for that. He said, poise the kick out kid. Oh, like, that's what you said. Just keep poising the ring and you can't lose. <laughs> you might not win, yeah. but you can't lose. <laughs> yeah, hit the draw. 
<laughs> yeah, that's fucking funny. As long man. as we never, it's like a, it's like the only. That's how the new day they fucked up. They had the longest WWE tag team title reign, and then they forgot not to tag out Xavier Woods, <laughs> <laughs> and they lost. That's funny. He said that. Uh, Xavier Woods, oh, I used to love him. They should start doing that with Nancy Boy. Start like doing what the New Day did. Do you remember when like Big E would just start carrying Xavier out of the ring after he came and walk? <laughs> and he said, "I'm the kick out kid. I'm the kick out kid." That was one of my favorite matches ever. That was great. And uh, I really like what you did there. I like 13 and 14. I think it's controversy by name value alone. But I mean, this is this is how it's been rolling the past few months. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking is because uh, Azumi and Thekla are kind of in this tier here. Yeah, there's a point where maybe Azumi and Thekla are almost ranked together. However, we got to see who's. I mean, they got to be above oh. the girls that don't have the belts. You like? I know he like oh, Thekla a well, lot more than Azumi, my... but Azumi won or Thekla won the belt, and then I, I mean, I don't know. And she won. Well, in my since. opinion, she's been in my shit. opinion. Um, it's. The Kai Belto and the Shiroi Belto, the white and the red belt, um, were like oh. the singles top tier. And then I kind of felt like it was like artist and goddess belt, like the tag belts. And then it's like the high speed and SWA. Okay. Yeah, generally. Unless, you know, like when Mayu wins it. All right. So let's, uh, people that aren't champions, let's let's fill that in here then. Um... Well, I'm putting, all right, I'm just, let's start throwing some people. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good line. I want to make sure I get to your spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. People who aren't champions first. All right. Okay. 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 I just can't look at any of these people on here and say that like people below Zumi or Thekla. You Let's... know, if you have a, if you if if your Zumi love is clouding clouding your heart your your judgment. What about Thekla? Like you think that except maybe Mirai? Out of everything you see there, if the Cinderella tournament didn't happen which i mean is an unfortunate truth because it did i think mariah's <laughs> the weakest out of everyone left on the board uh the unfortunate truth el gore oh is that where that came from well it is what it is <laughs> um, al gore and, but, al, but al gore invented the internet and mariah is the cinderella champion and those are facts yeah, and she's not better than anyone left on the board. And you know what, though, which is fine too, because she took the easy route. Did she end up with a buy or two just because of <laughs> uh, like every other girl in her bracket eliminated? Like there was double eliminations. I mean, she had to we have were... wrestled the least times out of anyone. That's for sure. Okay. And then I feel like if I put the zoom in the top ten, that's as high as she goes, and I put my foot down. That's probably. F- <laughs> fine uh, up around there because well we gotta you gotta look at the bottom and um it almost like looking at the bank is almost like who's challenging for them yeah, you know who's the well mid tier who's the who's the white belt challengers and then the red belt challengers have to be above them well. really now who do you what do you th- i honestly start them if you they don't do a lot of singles matches unless it's like a for a title i find the big grudge match so do a like are uh, putting the tag belts higher than the singles belts, you know. Besides the main two, I think they're. I think they treat their tag belts pretty seriously. This goes to um, a conversation that late. I thought was interesting on, in there. on your on your take of um, how they do their belt collectors. Like they're not afraid to have more than one girl have a belt, as we saw with Tam, and we saw with. We're Cherie. about to see with Starlight and Momo. Yeah, so I, you know, it, and I actually really like that because if you're the one of the best, yeah, grab a singles belt, grab a tags belt, grab a trios belt, just grab it all because you're good. You should have all the belts if you're one of the best of the best. You should have them all. I love it. There's no well, reason to spread Shiri, the love here at all. Cherry had, Cherry had. Well, she was, she was a tag team champion for a while. She had both the tag belts, SWA <laughs> belt. Um, she probably was the artist champ, and then she had a briefcase. She was looking cool for a while. Yeah, she she should have started Guzai you're, back then to carry her luggage for her. If you're a if you're a, if you're Starlight and Momo, and you're the greatest tag team in the company, why wouldn't you be even better if you had Saki <laughs> and be the artist champs? Yeah. Um, actually, well, I read an article the other day. 
what's my fancy way of saying a Twitter post? It was a 140 character or less article and <laughs> someone c- complaining about all the draws and stardom. And I'm like, what do you mean about it? If it takes nearly 30 minutes to beat Shiri, well, she hasn't been beaten, but you know what I mean. It takes almost a half hour, and you may, you're just starting to crack the nut of beating Shiri by herself. You don't think in 10 less minutes and 20 minutes with a couple of friends, best you're going to draw the world champion? Mm-hmm. That, that just makes sense. Is it almost easier to go to the top top and just put Shuri? Do you have a reason not to have Shuri as number one? Unless you still think Mayu's better, even though <laughs> yeah, Mayu does it, forgets to win, but she is. Yeah, because it's it's more interesting to leave her on the board for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mind take that off. <laughs> yeah, let's decide number nine first, and that way, I, you know, I can just drag her. Hopefully, yeah, I can drag number nine to like the far left here. All right. So out of these girls, the weakest in my mind is it probably is the white belt champ. I'm thinking. I'm th- oh, yeah. Thinking, oh, maybe Natsupoi? Maybe. Well, Momo and, oh, Nat- Momo and Starlight Natsupoi, can't be, you have to be up there. Natsupoi is going above Himika and Micah. That's for sure. And Himika, who just challenged for the world championship? Himika wasn't even allowed to tag in for their last artist match. Because well, Natsupoi. She didn't is... need to. But she, she was Natsupoi... tired. <laughs> she had to rest up for a championship match. <laughs> she had a lot in her mind. Just had a makeout session with Shiri like the day before. Do you know what it's like trying on a new outfit too? I mean, she went went through a lot last week. She had to match. Like, oh man, <laughs> what color shoes do I wear? No, uh, something funny. She she undyed her hair because she's just a little net. But then she like undyed her hair and she was like jet black. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> my dumbass mind. It's like she dyed her hair black. <laughs> Like when Mina, like when Mina comes out with her dark passenger, like her crazy Mina gimmick, and she's wearing all black like makeup and jet black hair, and I'm like, whoa, she dyed her hair from her natural pink. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. I think Japanese girls like they just have whatever hair color they want. I think it's how it works. Uh, yeah, sort of like the little Play-Doh set, just sort of pop it in and it comes out. Uh, Micah. Is that the only one that makes sense right here? I'm uh, feeling... I think it's Mike, uh, Himika, Natsupoi. That's... Okay. That's <laughs> fine. Actually, that's fine. And if we're going by that... Oh, unless you want to say... My Himipoi right there. And then do we go Momo... Uh, I think... I think... Starlight? I think... Well... It's tag Natsupoi. champs? Momo and Starlight. Did I do my math right? One, two, three, four, five. I'm like, one, two, three, four. I know. Four, do we have to? I... Well, that's all right. We could do two number ones if we need to. No, no. I mean, Hazuki needs. <laughs> I'm like, why do I have so many? Hazuki's pretty cool, but I don't think she should be above what the. I end um... up with <laughs> inside her baseball. <laughs> I tried to make sure that I had everyone on the roster. <laughs> I had to like find all these images, and I counted like six times, and I'm like, all right, I need 34. And then I would be like at 33. I'm like, who am I missing? Oh, Starlight. So I find a picture of Starlight. So now I should be at 34. And then I'd be at 35. I'm like, I didn't. How did I add two? And then I get 34 pictures, and I end up with like 31 tears. For what it's worth, I actually uh, appreciate that. Um, I mean, you did to do all the hard work. You found all the headshots. You you took the backgrounds out. I, I appreciate you. So it was worth it just because your math doesn't work. You had a lot else going on. And maybe if you do need to save a spot, just put the tag team champions together. However, Hazuki should not be above them, even though I think she is pretty cool. I'm going to strongly disagree. Well, I'm okay. Hazuki Point should be above the tag champ. I don't think Hazuki should be above anybody else, except for maybe <laughs> Julia. That's why Julia hate coming in. It almost makes sense to go artist champs to tag champs. No chance. That's what you got. Maybe fucking... like I, I the belts is one thing because I, I do I do think they take their uh, six woman belts seriously and they're one of the <laughs> best belts, you know, in wrestling. However, Momo and Starlight are really good. <laughs> Everyone's saying why is Julia so high up? Because she's fucking julia and i love 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 her oh ken i'm on your side 
I think I'm we're supposed to love 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 her, but god damn it, she's not that good. <laughs> where else would she? Where else would she go? That's you could right. you could pop her right there, and then we have one less thing to uh, one less person to think about. And here's the the like the Julia effect. I mean, it's, it's almost feels like argue. name she's value alone. Yeah, well, that's true. Uh, yeah, if you're scrolling down, Julia probably should still be up above most of the girls. I mean, really. Anyway, number eight. <laughs> Julia is I... the reason Shuri only has one belt. And then can I go? So a lot of people lost the start to Koguma. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess you're gonna show us sooner or later. <laughs> Then can I go tag champs? And oh, can I go tag champs. I don't think that Hazuki should be above them. Hazuki's pretty cool. I agree. And she wins a lot. In fact, she only, I don't remember last time she lost because I don't count Koguma. I think Natsupoi should be even below Hazuki. I think everyone moves up and Hazuki squeezes either above or below Julia. All right, now we got the nitty gritty. Now, listen, now I think it could, gets easy. I'm not well, you could ju- you could just do like red belt, white belt, and then you know whatever you want to put these two because they're not champions right now. But that's that's bullshit. Sometimes you know, well, it could be the order, but it's, it's too not. easy because you because you could transcend. You like to pe- could be a bad world champion that Sherry is, but you could be, and then you go where you go. Uh, out of the four women there, it's uh Saya. Mm. <laughs> Utami is one of the greatest wrestlers in the entire company. She's no icon, and she's no red belt champion right now. And Saya's, I mean, Saya's fine. She, number four, I mean, obviously under Lady C tier. My last year, I talked myself into putting Mayu first, so I think I used my Mayu love. I almost put Mayu at four. Well, she's the icon. Doesn't that transcend? Did she has she won in the past two months? Alright, I will put Utami Utami above well Shuri's obviously above her too. Um put Utami above because when they do their announcements for Queen's Quest, like you know how like they'll start with Lois and the Totem like Cosmic Angels. They'll start with Waka and then the last one to get announced is Tam. I'm very confused when they announce Utami before Saya, so Utami's obviously better. Like wait, is Utami it- that low? Oh, we are. I just we, saying, we love, love, love Utami, pal. Oh, I'm just saying, <laughs> uh, oh no, no, no! I'm sorry, not you. Uh, Ken caught my eye. Uta- I, I, I've agreed with everything he said except for between Hazuki and Julia, because I think Utami almost, is like <laughs> top three in in my heart, top two in my mind. <laughs> like oh, she is so Utami good. Utami Nakano up there. I almost yeah, she she'd be up. She'd be number one. Well, because she's uh probably has a concert to go to. She can't wrestle her at the moment. <laughs> I think Sai, I think Sai still th- out, of, out of the four of them. And, and you know what? Putting Mayu there because she does not have a belt and her win-loss record is probably gross. Like, I, we all know she's the stardom icon, but it's a power ranking of, like, what's happening this year. So she's prop being four might be the right thing to do. She's the start of my con. Now I'm fucking talking you into putting her at number one. I'm just gonna keep talking. Like you, you said, Saya four, and I think that's probably right. Well, I mean, that's my first, uh, like, sort of intuition. My first. If any, <laughs> here, I'm just, oh, I don't know. I I could argue for Mayu being number one. But my thinking was we put Mayu number one last last month. Oh, okay. um, she's last she's month. the fuck. Cause, well, it's not her fault. She, she's the best. <laughs> it's I mean, not it's my like, fault that when you my fault, she's like so when good. She, yeah when she loses she gets better. It's not my fault that she's almost should just be in lady C tier. <laughs> there should be two god tiers. Last time we had um Mayu number one, Utami number two, because Utami like still fresh off the loss and still had the cool hair and everything. Um, and then Shuri was number three. I think that changes now. I think Shuri is number one right here, right now. I think that, like our list the last time, it still should just be Mayu, Utami, Shuri. Shuri is not better than Utami, and she's eh, pretty good, but she's not, she's not Tommy level good. Wow. 
She spent she spent a whole year just trying to get to Tommy's level, and then Tommy said, "Okay, she finally beats her." Well, Tommy's she, basically she hasn't had a rematch. Level. They said you can beat anybody once, but can you beat her twice? But this could be a good segue because if you want to really stick that my personal pick I, Shuri at number three, you should almost go to the spread list and prove why Tommy should be above Shuri. Okay, I'm gonna get the chat on my side in a second. Oh. <laughs> Now, okay, that's a good. Just gotta decide who is better, Mayu or the correct answer. Well, Flip see, now it just goes to. I mean, I, I didn't even hate Mayu as number one, even though she never wins. <laughs> like, I, I, that wasn't my problem. My problem is, I oh. think Shuri should be above Utami no matter what. At, at this point of the year. Oh, I. Uh... Shayu has or Shuri has beat everybody. There's no one left but her to beat Utami again. I don't. I don't have. Don't have a. I almost want to do a coin flip, but I don't have a coin. But I do have a Batmobile Hot Wheels. I can flip. You can flip a Hot Wheels. You got a D twenty on your desk. Odd or even, <laughs> ten or above. <laughs> All right, I flipped a Batmobile. Heads or tails? It probably landed on its back. Landed on tails. So my goes number two. Huh? She has tails. When she comes to America, I hope she loses every tail and then just like just as like she did. And does anyone else see this is this is why we're this is why we're we're good. Does anyone else decide that she that Mayu is number two because Batmobile landed on tails? She also has tails. I there's probably good. not too many lists that have their own lady C tier either because you know sometimes a, a woman just transcends. And I mean, no, she's red hot. Red hot. She got a win in April. That's it. That's that's this is correct. This is mathematically. All right. I think that's everything. Hey man, it's cool to wind down. I I would uh throw on any of the stuff we do. Like almost everything is through the YouTube. Um, there's not there's not much. There's zero social media. Um, we have a Obviously Twitter that we don't use. We basically just follow <laughs> people on. Uh, but the like, community page on YouTube is actually pretty cool. Um, you've been sharing a lot of your... You have got you got yourself into drawing, like digital drawing. It's actually pretty cool, man. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing drawings. Yeah, pretty much everything is through the YouTube. We also got the podcast that you can find wherever you do your podcast. And then yeah, that's we also up. upload it to the YouTubes. Yeah, that's that. The podcast has been fun. It's um, that's a passion project. There's uh, just a few episodes up, uh, but we'll probably put it on the YouTube too because YouTube is is what is catching fire. But there's fun things like asking your Alexa to play the Stardom Fan Podcast, and it just does. So that's like a cool <laughs> thing. <laughs> so if you have a problem, if you're a podcast fan, because I I wanted a the one of the reasons we're even doing this is because I wanted a good Stardom podcast, and there wasn't one. Sorry to the one other podcast that's out there, but I didn't like you. I thought we could do better. They don't even yeah, start. <laughs> we're, we're talking about, we can say names. We're talking about the Stardom cast. They didn't even. Oh, like no. Do <laughs> one of like one of the guys quit doing it. Cause he's like, I don't like this anymore. And I'm like, well, I do. So let me do a podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, starting that, that's pretty good. Um, if you have a problem finding it on your pod grabber or host a choice, let me know. But I, I think we're on and me much being anything. salty. Me being, I have to throw this in here too. The whole reason. <laughs> Actually, thank you, Stardom Cast, for making me us start all of this. Because me being salty for you ranking Utami as like worse than the company that made that was like a possible. year and a half ago at this point. But but you know what? I think it was still almost right after she won the championship, wasn't it? Yeah, you're that or right after or right before. <laughs> all right, I don't want to bash other people. That I can I do. You do. <laughs> all right. Well. Guys, thanks for hanging out and doing this. Yeah, we and, don't uh, have... It'll turn into probably a, a podcast. We'll, I'll cut the Blast. two hours of babble and turn it into a show. And that's that. People have asked us, like, hey, do you have, like, an Instagram? Like, why do I need an Instagram? Do you have, like, a Twitter? Which, I mean, we do, but it's just really to follow at least start with girls because I like their banter. But uh, people have, like, all these social medias. I'm like, no, but am I the only people person that has, like, our own website? The thing people do, <laughs> yeah, it's, that website. definitely seems secondary. It's like everything's through social media and stuff. It's like, well, the webs websites cost money. I'm like, they do, but it's fun, and you can personalize <laughs> it, and you can do whatever you want on there, and you can put Utami oh handing you a rose. I mean, how do you not want that? <laughs> Look at that. Well, 
Well, it's it's a point of it's like you can you can go to stardomfan.com anytime you're like, man, I wish you Tommy would hand me a rose. <laughs> um, and while you're, you're there, anything, scroll down we're... and tell your friends to click the the donate button. <laughs> uh, we're just happy that we we had a few people watching and, and chatting with us tonight because we like stardom and it's fun to talk to or other even... people, especially the people that agree with me. And uh, oh my god, what a crazy! Oh, they, everyone thinks my rankings are shit. That's okay. I like the people that agree. <laughs> if you agree like with the people, me, you're okay. <laughs> I like the people that agree with me and the people that don't. Fuck them. Oh. Um, <laughs> what a crazy couple. I, this is something I thought of. I'll say it's just wrapping up here, winding down. Um, from We started at like the beginning of January, and we went from starting up a YouTube channel to literally being banned from having a Google account for no reason. He just sent me an email saying, hey, uh, your YouTube channel is a danger to the community. I was like, hey, um, no, I don't think that's right. Can I have my YouTube channel back? And they, with an email, and they said, oh, sorry, our mistake. So, and then we, I went, I'm like, oh, well, let me try. We got 1,000 subscribers. That was huge. And I'm like, let me try pl- getting some, applying for uh, monetization here. Maybe we can pay off this website. And then that got declined. And then I said, you know what? Let me try it one more time and it gets approved. So what a roller coaster ride it's been. Uh yeah. And with that being said, six cents richer. I'm okay by that. <laughs> oh, <six> cents, <laughs> baby. Um you know, I, I also said I would whore myself out, and that is totally true. So uh yeah, we got a PayPal button. Or if you want under any video that you like and you want to see more content like that or whatever, you could always send a Super thanks, uh, under like where you would see the let's go to the YouTube's. The comments are huge too. Like I take a lot of pride at the the podcast, and there is uh, I gotta I gotta bring it up. Like right you here, know, the, just right. the people who say that like I good stuff. You know the the positive feedback. That, that's oh, awesome. I love. It. I appreciate it. I love it. Yeah, you click this little thanks button here. It um, what it does is it highlights your comment. That way, like we. It's, it's really, you, you, I mean, you can put whatever you want, but it's really just like a thank you. And we would appreciate it. Or, you know, if you don't, if you don't want to, you could just subscribe. That's cool, too. Hit that bell icon. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have attention, please? Welcome aboard. The Stardom Fan Channel. Welcome to the new Stardom Fan Podcast. I'm Mark. I'm Juno. And it cannot be argued that Wondering Stardom is, pound for pound, the best pro wrestling in the world. This site... This podcast is a project with the intent to inform and entertain. We have a few ideas started and some ambitious ideas coming soon. Stay tuned and thank you for your support. It's like writing an essay for school. No no one ever knows how to do an intro or conclusion. No. In conclusion, this is a stardom podcast. Yeah. We will have (laughs) news reviews rumors and results opinions. power rankings opinions <laughs> and uh in the meantime while you're waiting for our episodes to come up visit us at stardomfan.com where you can find the link to our youtube videos where you will find such great hits as you such can... great hits as utami wins for grandpa where utami's grandpa comes to one of the house shows and she whoops an ass or Momo Kogo's debut match, or my personal favorite, Hayashi Shishida snapping necks and cashing checks. Have you ever wondered what Julia is saying to Mayu Iwatani after their match when there's trash talking? Well, we have it translated for you. Stardomfan.com. Click on YouTube. Enjoy. Check it out. Thank you for watching. Please. Like, okay?